Osmosis is one of the most popular projects in the Cosmos ecosystem. But what are Osmosis and the Osmo token all about? And why is the broader crypto community so excited about this project? This is what we will explain to you in today's episode. But before I forget, please make sure as always to subscribe to this YouTube channel and give us a like. This triggers the YouTube algorithm and leads to an Atom and Osmo pump on the other hand. And now let us dive deeper into Osmosis. Okay, let's go. Osmosis is an AMM built with the Cosmos SDK. So Osmosis is an application specific blockchain. And Osmosis provides everything users expect from an AMM. People can swap tokens back and forth and provide liquidity for different pools. For example, you could swap Atom against UST on Osmosis as well as provide liquidity for Atom and UST. This is what Osmosis is all about on a very high level. Now you might wonder, why does it make sense for an AMM to have its own chain? Projects like Balancer launched initially on Ethereum and are now expanding to different ecosystems like Polygon because everybody knows the future is multi-chain. However, when launching on different layer ones, this also bears the risk of spreading your liquidity across different blockchains. Of course, these applications may not be dependent on one blockchain, but on the other hand, their capital on each blockchain is not so deep. And this could lead to the problem that users on each blockchain find it hard to use the application as the liquidity can't meet the growing demand. To be clear, this is a classic trade-off and not an indicator to rate a DeFi project as good or bad. Projects simply have to decide which approach they want to take. And Osmosis decided that a customized blockchain is perfect for their needs. This also has something to do with Osmosis's role in the Cosmos ecosystem. According to Map of Zones, 3.4 million IBC transfers have been executed on Osmosis in the past 30 days. To bring this into perspective, this is more than two times the amount of IBC transfers that the Cosmos Hub executes. Why is this so? Because Osmosis has been IBC enabled since day one, it somehow unites the Cosmos ecosystem and brings the whole liquidity together. Most Cosmos projects are interested in launching on Osmosis and bringing its liquidity to it. Now let us bring everything together to get a first broad overview of Osmosis. In a nutshell, Osmosis decided to have its own customized blockchain to concentrate its liquidity. On Osmosis, people can swap tokens and provide liquidity. Osmosis is an IBC enabled blockchain that uses the Cosmos SDK. And because of this, Osmosis finds it very easy to connect with other Cosmos chains. Now let us continue with another crucial aspect of the Osmosis ecosystem, superfluid staking. To understand superfluid staking, you first have to understand staking derivatives and their problems. Let's assume you stake Osmo. This stake position has an underlying value and produces daily rewards. So this stake position has an economic value. And because of this, you could use this staking derivative, for example, as a collateral in DeFi. This helps you to reach a high level of capital efficiency. However, it tends to be very risky for the whole network. Let's assume a user puts Osmo into a staking pool, but then decides to produce toxic blocks. Nothing much would happen at first because the malicious user would not be able to get his Osmo out of the staking pool. The reason, the 14 days long unbonding period. The unbonding period is a security mechanism for precisely this matter. Within the 14 days unbonding period, the network would realize that the user acts maliciously and slash him. However, with a staking derivative, attackers could evade the unbonding period. As already mentioned, the staking derivative has an economic value. So the malicious user could dump the staking derivative against, for example, UST before the network recognizes that the user acts maliciously. Because of this, we need a solution. The solution is called superfluid staking. Superfluid staking is basically the other way around. Instead of using a staking position in DeFi, users would provide liquidity, for example, for the Atom and Osmo pool, and stake the underlying asset. So, instead of using a stake position in DeFi, you stake the underlying asset of the pool you are providing liquidity for. This is much safer and achieves the same level of capital efficiency. Let us now dive deeper into the tokenomics of Osmo. So, what is the token good for? Primarily, you use Osmo for staking to secure the Osmosis chain. This is pretty cool because other AMMs, like Balancer, are not their own chain. 
Therefore, the tokenomics of Osmo tend to be much stronger than the tokenomics of various governance tokens of many AMMs in this space. Speaking of governance, of course, Osmo is also being used for governance. When holding Osmo, you can vote on governance proposals and we highly, highly, highly recommend doing this as doing so increases your chances to get airdrops. Now, let us talk about the future of Osmosis and Superfluid Staking once again. Because Superfluid Staking could have a massive impact on Osmosis. Why is this so? Of course, it helps users achieve a high level of capital efficiency. But more importantly, Osmosis could contribute a lot to the security of other chains as well. Because if users bring their assets, for example region, to the Osmosis chain and earn rewards for it in liquidity pools, these tokens could not be used anymore to secure the region chain. But with the concept of superfluid staking, this would be possible, as users would stake the underlying asset, which would be region in that case. So, Osmosis could become a security hub for all the other Cosmos chains in the space that bring their liquidity to Osmosis anyway. This is another value driver for Osmosis and Osmo on the other hand. All in all, we at DeFi Times are huge fans of Osmosis. First of all, Osmosis is, without any doubt, the most important project in the Cosmos ecosystem right now, as it brings the liquidity of all the Cosmos projects to its chain. It has somewhat a uniting effect. Secondly, the tokenomics of Osmo are very, very strong and more powerful than the tokenomics of classic governance tokens of other AMMs, as you can stake Osmo. By the way, if you are interested in staking Osmo, I would highly recommend staking your Osmo with Friends Validator. When doing so, before February 28, you will be eligible for the Diffusion airdrop. If you want to get more information regarding this, check out our previous episode about the airdrop by clicking on the link in the right hand corner. Another thing worth highlighting about Osmosis is Superfluid Staking. Superfluid Staking could strengthen the role of Osmosis within the Cosmos ecosystem sustainably. But now let us know in the comment box below what you think of Osmosis. Also please let us know which project we must cover next. Hit the like button and subscribe to this YouTube channel if you want to see Osmo mooning. And with that being said, I will see you on Wednesday for another episode of This Week in Cosmos.